Howdy ho, hoax! The smoking pipeliner here, also known as the guy that's going to smoke and review every single tobacco that has ever been made. Luckily for the FDA coming along, is going to make my life a whole lot easier. But I'm going to try to review as many tobaccos as I can before they all disappear, and then hey, then I can claim that I've that I've reviewed them all because there's going to be none left, right? I forgot to ask, how are you guys doing? That's good. Me? I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. So what am I smoking? Whoa, whoa. Smoking. The new Low Country Gundalos. I have no idea if I pronounced that right. No clue. But this is the new uh, tobacco in the Low Country series, which is a tobacco that you can only get on smokingpipes.com. They have four others that are all pretty good. Um, actually, two of them I really like. If you have ever smoked Cooper, Low Country Cooper, and Low Country Waccamaw, highly, highly recommended blends. And uh, Cornell and Deal makes these. This particular blend is a cigar leaf blend. And uh, let's take a look at it. It's a nice ribbon cut tobacco. It's got Red Virginias in it, by the way, which instantly makes me interested in this tobacco, along with Red Virginia Cavendish and Bright Virginias with some Turkish in it, and then Cigar Leaf. Yeah, it's a lot going on with this blend. It's smoky. It's juicy. I don't know if it's juicy. It's juicy because it's good, right? Smells. Smells like. Oh, smells wonderful, actually. Smells like a good tobacco to me. And it tastes wonderful, actually. That's all I got to say. No. <laughs> um, no, I really do like this blend. Um, I was a little hesitant of getting it at first. Cigar leaf blends can be good or bad. But this one is one of the better cigar leaf blends out there, I think. And it's, you know, it was tinned in, uh, in June of this year. So it's only been in the tin for a little over a month. And it's good now. So it's probably going to be even better when it's uh, stewing in there for a couple years, aging. It's a nice smoky blend. Get the nice uh, sweetnesses from the Bright Virginias along with that... Uh, very earthy Red Virginia taste. The uh, Red Virginia Cavendish also kind of tones it down a little bit as well. And I love the play between the uh, the Turkish and the uh, cigar leaf. I don't know how much cigar leaf's actually in this, but it's um, quite tasty. I'd say a nice medium-bodied blend, and it's an anytime smoke too. How about that? I can actually see myself uh, smoking this quite often. So I'm probably going to have to buy some more tins of this, which that could be a good or bad thing. To me, it's it's like I try a new tobacco, I end up liking it. I almost get mad anymore because it's like, well, I'm going to have to buy even more of this stuff. You know, it's like winning a, a car on a game show. You know, you're excited about winning the car, but then you're stuck with the tax bill. You know, it's like all of a sudden, well, well now you owe like $7,000 in taxes. It's like, well, wait a minute. I thought I just won a car. Now, now, I've, now I've got a bill. You know, so it's like I've, you know, I'm stuck with having to buy, you know, 10 tens of this stuff or something now. So it's like, thanks. Thanks a lot. For what? I don't know. I, it's, hard to, it's hard to describe. But this is a good blend, and you should try it. And I'm guessing this one's probably uh, slipped under the radar. Um, as probably a lot of people don't pay attention to the low country blends. But I would check all of them out if I were you. Especially Waccamaw and Cooper. Those are so good. I will do... Actually, those made the um, uh, top five list a couple years ago, I believe. On my top five tobaccos when I tried those. I think it was three years ago now. Um... But um, those are winners. This is a winner. And uh, pick some up. But you can only get at smokingpipes.com. So if you don't like the people at Smoking Pipes, well, then I guess you won't be trying this blend. So 
the availability of this blend may prevent some people from getting it. And of course the FDA could step in and say, uh-uh, <laughs> what are you trying to do here? You're trying to release a new tobacco at the deadline. Nah, 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 nah. Get it out of here. That's not funny. Along the historic Waccamaw River, roughly five miles from the coast of rural South Carolina, and just downstream of the Brook Green Island, lays a quiet, remote creek by the name of Glintlos. I have no idea if I just pronounced that correctly, but that's beside the point. On quiet summer nights, it offers locals a much-need bit of solitude and countless moments of quiet reflection, paying tribute to this secluded creek and to those moments of gentle respite, we have selected choice red bright Virginias, our own red Virginia Cavendish, fine Catatrini Turkish leaf, a dash of spicy Perique, and the exquisite cigar leaf to fashion a blend that readily evokes the flavors of a full-bodied Nicaraguan cigar. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye now. <laughs>